in this video I will show you animated application launcher called Key Launch. And also this launcher will apparently increase our productivity. In this video we will also go through installation of the Key Launch, usage of the Key Launch and at the end of the video I will also show you how to uninstall it. So if we go straight to the releases right here on the right which was the latest build was released uh, three days ago and if we click right here key launch version 1.1 rm skin so this is the ending of the file and it needs to be used with rain meter so if i click right on it and i will save the file so we also need rain meter for that so i will click right here to 4.5 release save the file and install the rain meter exe file click ok click next, click install, click yes and click finish. Right now Windows should run our rain meter if I unload all the default skins right here. Moving on, right now we will install our e launch rain meter skin if I click on the setup exe and I will click right here to the install button. So here we have the key launch by JAX version 1.1 we will also need to install Jax Core 3, so I will click right here to install it. And as you can see, Jax Core 3 is successfully installed on our system. But I don't know if there is a bug right here, so that Rainmeter closes it by itself, so I need to relaunch it once again. So this is a Jax Core launcher and it will help to install all of his extensions or even other skins for Rainmeter. So we can also add a shortcut right here. I will add it to the program list and also to the desktop folder. And right click, I will click maybe later. This Rainmeter skin also has a scalable menu and can also automatically check for updates. So I will click right here to the nice and you can also support this developer if you want to. I will click right here to the maybe la later and here we have it, our Jax Core launcher. And uh, in this launcher, you can download whichever skin you would like for Rainmeter. And in today's video, we will go with more focus on key launch. So I will click here on the key launch and currently is checking for the updates and it's up to date. On the bottom left you will need to click uh, activate skin and right now script file not found you have some errors right here. I will click ok also you can uh, just ignore it, this error. So this is the, our animated uh, launcher that we are going to talk about today and it's called key launch. If we go first to the first general tab right here on the left uh, we can add some actions. Right now I will click on right here on the pencil and we can add for example some applications right now. So the first application I will choose is Mozilla Firefox. I will click right here to the Mozilla Firefox uh, exe file or launch file and I will click open and confirm right here. We can also click here on the edit and right now we should add some keyboard shortcut to open this program. I recommend you guys that you use shortcut that you don't use often. So for example, I will put it to the one num on the numpad. So I will click confirm right here. And if I press right here numpad one, uh, Firefox should open. And as you can see, it looks like that animation. So right now I will also add some more applications to uh, this key launch application launcher. So add an application, click to the edit, let's say numpad two, click confirm. I will add the, uh, another application let me see if we have spotify installed so spotify let me open it go to the task manager and if the spotify is uh, indeed installed right click right click on the spotify right here go to the spotify right click it open file location and we have a quick start i'll copy the this uh, location of the spotify paste it right here into the file explorer and press right here the Spotify client and I will click confirm right here and right now if I press for example number two Spotify should launch let me add another one application so add an application add an action click to the edit let me say numpad 3 I will click confirm right here and go to the pencil go, go here to the quick start go back to our uh, start menu go to the discord I will open the Discord as well and go to the task manager, go to the Discord right here on the task manager, go to open file location and I will copy the same path as before for the Spotify. Uh, so 
press right here and click on the Discord right uh, here, so the exe file. Click open and click confirm. So right now we have the Firefox on the numpad 1, Spotify on the numpad 2 and also Discord on the numpad 3. And I will go to the next step into the appearance. So we have he here some appearance settings. For example, we have the general, which we can change text glow sigma, text font, and show also application after animation. So text glow sigma, I think this is the glow. Uh, and I think if I put it to the zero, the glow shouldn't be here anymore. So zero, and we have here zero. So if I open the one application, let's say Spotify, and as you can see, the glow isn't there anymore. We also can enable some text fonts, for example, if you have some fonts installed on the computer. But for example, if I choose one from the web, for example, open sans, and I will press enter, and right now the text should change. We can also disable these settings, so show application after animation. So right now, if I press, let's say two, the application uh, will start with animation. So not like before, when the first was animation and then application started. So as you can see, we have this enabled right here and it looks like that. So we also have some color settings right here. So we have the highlight color. For example, we have the opacity uh, 150, but we can also choose whichever we'd like. For example, if I put it, let's say uh, to the blue one, to the blue color, and it looks like that. We also can change font color. Let me see, for example, blue with yellow. Let me pick the yellow color. And we also have the glow color, but we also disabled glow right here. But if I enable, let's say one, I will select the, the one right here, let's say one, press enter. And if we want to, we can select the glow color. For example, I will put it to the purple. So uh, if I press right now the one, right now, as you can see, we have here our glow and animation. Uh, we also have some animation configuration. For example, we have the start animations. We can disable them or also enable them. Animation frame interval zero for true 60 FPS. So a 60 frame, you can select the frames of the, your animation. So right now it's currently set to 60. Animation duration modifier, we can select that as well. And also text size modifier. But right now I will go to layout of the animation. So if I select this uh, second animation, let me show you that uh, real quick. If I press, let's say two, Spotify should open. As you can see, this is the, the second animation on the list. Uh, we have the third one and I think this one looks the best. And then we also have the fourth one, uh, which I think is uh, also quite nice. So here we have the Discord animation right here. So you also need to have Rain Meter always running uh, to these to these animations or this program to work. So keep in mind that as well. So right now I will also show you how to uninstall our key launch uh, application launcher. So right click on the Rainmeter icon in the system tray, click to the exit right here, go to the control panel, go to the programs and uninstall a program. And right now I will choose Rainmeter to uninstall. Select yes. I will check this uh, option, completely remove all personal settings and files. So this will also delete all the skins that we installed in this video. So click uninstall and right now it says completed, close it and you should be fine. And I think this has been all for this video. Maybe consider subscribing to this channel. Also like this video. And with that being said, I see you guys in the next one. Peace.